Hey everybody, this is Lauren from Rares and Headwaters. I'm here with my friends Bryce and Naya Thomas. Say hi guys. Hi. hi. We're going on an adventure to the stream today and we want to tell you all about how to explore the stream in a local park or your backyard or somewhere close to your home. So here's what you're going to need. We are going to bring with us some plastic spoons. <laughs> there we go, a couple plastic spoons. And we're going to bring some yogurt containers or applesauce containers or some other reusable cup. That'll be for holding some of the little critters that we find. Mm -hmm. We're also going to need a kitchen strainer. Um, we got this from the dollar store. Super light and easy to store in your garage or your playroom. Um, you could use your kitchen strainer that you use at home if you want, but you might want a dedicated stream strainer. We also like to use some kind of a bucket or a tray. Uh, my friend Naya here has magnifying glass. And Zava. We have two magnifying glasses with us today that are going to be really helpful, but not totally necessary if you don't already have one at home. And on our website, raritonheadwaters.org, we are going to provide everybody with what's called a dichotomous key. This will show you all of the different creature, creatures that we're going to find in the stream today. Mm -hmm. You can wear old sneakers, you can go barefoot if you like, or you can wear your trusty old rain boots. You guys have your boots on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I have a new boot that is from Christmas. Okay, well, we'll, <laughs> we'll do our best to keep our new boots from Christmas clean, but we are ready to go on our adventure, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here we are at the stream, and the first thing you're going to want to do is fill up your um, pan or your bucket which is a little bit of water because all of the creatures that we're going to be finding today have gills and are used to living in the water so we want to make sure when we take them out of the stream they have a little safe space to go while we observe them. So I'm just going to put about an inch of water in the bottom of both of our containers and then I'll show you how I help the kids look for these little creatures. So the little creatures we're looking for in the stream are called benthic macroinvertebrates Benthic means that they live on the bottom layer of the stream. Macro means you can see them with your eye without the use of a microscope. And invertebrate means they don't have a backbone. Most of these creatures live under the rocks and in the kind of sandy surface under the stream. So in order to find them, you have a few different methods. You can simply just start picking up rocks and turning them over and seeing if you see any little squiggly creatures there. Or you can take your kitchen strainer, put it right into the water, and start kind of just digging gently around. We also like to do the stream shuffle where we stick our toe in and kind of scrape around and let all of that substrate flow right into our strainer. I packed some stuff. Okay, so I found a little creature here. I filled up my yogurt cup with a little bit of water. And I'm going to use my plastic spoon to very gently take him off of my hand strainer and put him back into the water so we can get a closer look and make some so observations. The key that I mentioned is available on our website. This is used for identifying the creatures that you find. What you want to do, especially with children in fourth, fifth grade, or middle school or high school, we'll start at the very top and you'll see that there's questions as you go down, shell or no shell, wings or no wings, number of legs, which brings you all the way down to the bottom to identify the creature. Another option is to upload a video or a picture of the creatures that you're seeing to our Facebook group, RHA Learning Resources community page, and an educator from Raritan Headwaters will identify the creature in the stream for you. today. We found the heart log, um, log. crane fly larva. Rainfly larva. And we find a lizard that lives in the water. A salamander. A salamander. salamander. And, and a snail. What are the yellow guys? C uh, caddisfly larva. Caddisfly larva. And, and what's the mayfly top? larva. Mayfly larva. And, and we found the water spider. Water strider, yeah. So when yeah. you're done looking for critters, you want to make sure to put all our friends back into the stream very gently. So Bryce and I are going to very gently empty our buckets back into the stream. Okay, Bryce, ready? Okay, we're going to very gently turn the bucket over. Right here. Very gently, there you go. I got to wash it out. 
Oh, perfect. We're going to give it a little rinse. 